So what do family members need to know about deep brain stimulation? Well, it turns out when we started this therapy, we didn't focus as much on the families and on the spouses and the caregivers as we should have. And we understand now to have a good outcome from deep brain stimulation surgery, one of the most important things and maybe the most important thing that you can have is a supportive either spouse or caregiver or friend, but somebody that's going to be there continuously for you to help you through this therapy. The time commitment is not trivial. When you decide to have DBS, there's going to be multiple visits to get worked up. You have to see multiple specialists. There's going to be an operation. There may even be two operations. In some centers, they put the leads in on one day, and then they wait 30 days and put the batteries in on another day. So it could be two different operations for each side of the brain if you have two sides done, and then once a month programming visits and medication changes. And so as your Parkinson changes, you're going to need help if you're a Parkinson disease patient. And so it's absolutely critical when we intervene with these new technologies that you have a supportive spouse, caregiver, friend, people that can take you back and forth for appointments. If you live uh, at a distance from the center that you're being implanted, looking for expertise or local expertise. And sometimes this means a conversation between your neurologist locally and the expert center to make sure that they have access to programming tools, they can check your device if you get into trouble, that they can train you to make sure that you uh, have a remote control so you can shut things down if you, if you have a problem, so that you understand how to navigate airports and that if you get close to magnetic fields or you get caught in a, um, in a theft detector in a store, that when your device goes off, you'll know how to flip it back on. And so it's very important to have people there that are, that are helping you. Um, in epilepsy surgery, the, um, the number one thing that predicts outcome in seizure surgery is having a good spouse. And so if we've learned anything from our other neurological disorders, it's that when you have a complex procedure, it's very important to have a, a supportive spouse or family member or caregiver to see you through a very complex process.